What is one heart encoding and why do we use it? Imagine you want to solve an image classification problem where the input is an image. You want your algorithm to output a single label or category that best describes the input image. You are training it to output one of the following five categories. Elephant, table, tomato, helmet, and unknown. The one heart encoding for the above class labels will use a vector whose length is the same as the number of classes, which in this case is five. In this representation, we set only one element of the vector to one for a particular class. For example, we represent the elephant class using one, zero, 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 zero. The first element is one and the rest are zero. We can represent the table class using zero, one, zero, zero, zero. The second element is one and the rest are zero. Similarly, we can encode the tomato class as 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. And the pattern follows for encoding helmet and unknown. Why is this representation called one heart encoding? The term comes from electrical engineering. In a digital circuit, when a line has a signal or digital state of one, we call it heart. In this representation, only one element of the vector is heart, so we call it one heart encoding. Even in real life, if you think someone is hot, they may be the one. <laughs> Why do we need one heart encoding? Why don't we encode these labels using a single number? For example, we could represent the elephant class using the number zero, table using one, tomato using the number two, helmet using three, and unknown could be the number four. Why use a vector in one heart encoding when the simple encoding we just came up with requires only a number. When we train a machine learning algorithm, we learn from our mistakes or errors. We can think of any machine learning algorithm as a black box with knobs or parameters. In the case of neural networks, these knobs are called weights and biases. The machine learning model outputs the correct results when the knobs are in the proper settings. During training, we show the machine learning model several examples of data for which we know the answer. If it outputs incorrect results, we change the knob settings so it makes fewer mistakes or errors. A standard measure of error is the sum of squared errors. The sum of squared errors between two vectors is calculated by taking the element-wise difference between the two vectors to find the error vector. We then square the elements of the error vector and add all the elements to get a single number called the sum of squared errors. Let's say our machine learning model makes a mistake when we show an image of an elephant. Instead of returning 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, which is the one heart encoding for an elephant, it returns 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, which is the one heart encoding for a tomato. You can check the error is equal to one squared plus one squared equals two. Even if the elephant was misclassified as a helmet, the error remains the same. That makes perfect sense. There is no reason for the two errors to be different. Misclassifying an elephant as a tomato is about as bad as misclassifying it as a helmet. Now, let's see what happens if we use the naive encoding where the number zero represents elephant, one represents table, two tomato, three helmet, and four unknown. When the elephant is misclassified as a tomato, the error is four. In contrast, when it is misclassified as a helmet, the error is nine. This makes no sense. Because of the way the numbers are encoded, the machine learning algorithm thinks Elephants are closer in appearance to tomatoes than to helmets. Remember, these errors are used to tune the knob settings for the machine learning model. And if the errors do not make sense, we will get a poorly performing machine learning model. But 
when we use one heart encoding, all classes are equidistant from each other. And that is why we use one heart encoding for classification tasks. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification by hitting the bell icon. We will see you in the next video. This is Sacha Malik signing off, your guide to the fascinating world of computer vision and AI.